welcome back guys to another video and in this video i will be showing you how minecraft runs on the raspberry pi now i am not talking about the minecraft that comes preloaded on the raspberry os i am in fact talking about the full version of minecraft uh, that you can actually play on your pc than that people play on their pc and then make minecraft videos about so uh, this is the full version minecraft 1.8.9 to be precise and this is of course running on the open source graphics driver on the raspberry pi now uh, i have the terminal window as well as uh, the task manager open so that you guys can see how much of uh, memory utilization and cpu utilization is going on so i'll just go ahead and uh, select single player and then uh, i'll just show you guys what all uh, options i am using for it to actually run uh, pretty smoothly so uh, here on options we actually have everything set to the lowest setting uh, the render distance is only two chunks graphics is at fast uh, and everything else is pretty much either off or at minimum so once we are done with this we can actually go ahead and select single player and uh, i think i am going to delete this world and then i will create a new world with uh, survival mode uh, would be the best to show that this is actually uh, the full uh, minecraft and uh, i will just click on create a new world now this is going to take a very very long time now on the uh, normal PC uh, it would have uh, done loading up a new world by now but this is the Raspberry Pi it's still running on an ARM processor and uh, it's not really optimized for ARM multi-core I'm getting a max GPU usage of around 30% uh, and it's still taking its time to load the new world so I'll be back once that is done and then we can continue with the Alright so as you can see uh, we are in minecraft and uh, I can pretty much uh, move as usual now let me just open up uh, the detailed uh, kind of a debugging overlay so that you guys can actually uh, see what uh, the state what the status of the uh, game is right now so I'll zoom in a little bit so that it's clear for you guys to see and i will try to make it as clear as possible all right so as you guys can see uh, this is the full version minecraft it has all the features and uh, we are running at around 25 to 24 fps now there are some videos that are actually showing a solid 30 I don't know uh, I don't really know how but uh, this is uh, pretty much it now of course this is a, a, a very limited by graphics uh, kind of setup so everything is at low and it's running at 84 uh, 854 by 480 resolution and as you can see it does mention it's running on gallium 0.4 on video core 4 and 2.1 mesa 11.1.0 now 2.1 probably is the opengl version and uh, here we have some random lava uh, and uh, so uh, let's kind of do a benchmark let's roam around and see how much the fps are right now it's uh, around uh, 25 uh, and sometimes it does touch 30 so right now it's actually touching 30 uh, which is pretty awesome uh, and considering how old this uh, GPU actually is and so let's roam around a little bit and let's correct some grass uh, boop, and boop. so we have some sand we have some grass and uh, we can now we have a cactus 
so this is uh, I guess barely playable uh, when it comes to gaming proper gaming on Minecraft not the best experience by far but uh, it's doable and as you can see it has dropped down to around 5 or 6 FPS so it's really really varying uh, depending upon uh, where we are and what kind of scenery is being loaded now uh, it's actually uh, on 672 MB of RAM uh, actually using around for 512 megabytes uh, and only around 40 percent of cpu usage and so let's go ahead and make it full screen and see what the difference actually is now it should be a big difference it's almost four times the resolution so let's go ahead to options and video settings and switch on full screen okay so we are now uh, in full screen mode and the fps's have actually uh, dropped a lot uh, i am getting only around 9 fps at max this is running at 1920 by 1080 resolution as you can see on the uh, right hand corner uh, pretty much uh, unusable I mean you can move it's smooth enough but it's not something that you would really like to play on uh, let's just move even more and of course I will have a link in the description on how to install it and how to play it on your own uh, but this only for some reason works with minecraft 1.8.9 and this is about it uh, running a full this is really awesome running a full version of minecraft running an actual pc game on the raspberry pi and th even uh, running at 10 fps is more than enough to show that there's some really awesome work going on behind the scenes of this uh, new open source graphics driver so it's yes, really awesome experience and of course uh, i will have the link in the description and big shout out to uh, rpi mike at the raspberry pi forum for the instructions thank you so much for watching this video guys and i will see you next time